Hello friends, so today in this video, we're going to discuss the first five problems from the latest like Code Chef lunch time. So I have actually solved the last problem also, but I don't know why it is not submitting here. So I will also upload the video for that also, but uh, I have uploaded or I will like talk about the other five problems in this video. So the first problem is cold play. The first problem actually states that you are traveling in a car and traveling via car to some park will take you m minutes okay and then in that time you will like you will listen a song which will take s minutes so it means that uh, like you are traveling to some park and uh, this is the distance and then it will take m minutes and you will start listening songs uh, of s minutes okay so how many songs you can listen the the last song if it goes out of bound because you only have to travel m minutes okay then you cannot listen this whole song so how many songs you can listen three which is like just m divided by s okay and that's the like answer it's not too difficult to understand it's very simple you just have to find out m divided by s so like 10 divided by 5 to 10 divided by 6 equal to 1 okay like just remove all the points so 9 divided by 10 0 and so on uh, the code of this is not in the description like or I will put all the codes in the description you can check those code out like this is very simple just you just divide the like divide the two numbers the second problem it's like as you can see uh, two uh, friends Sarthak and Anuradha are playing a game in which they are actually talking about n strings okay so in that game there are n strings and any of the string if it starts with any of these characters if any of the string which is given to you start with e q u i n o x any of these characters so any of the strings start with any of these characters then Sarthak will get a points else Anuradha will get b points so after talking about all the end strings you have to iterate over all the end strings and take out the first character of that every string and match that whether that character exists in this character like whether the first character is equal to e q u i n o x like any of this character then the answer is Sarthak will get a points or else Anuradha will get b points after the whole game what is whatever their score is whether like Sarthak will win Anuradha will win or it's a draw so you just have to iterate over all the strings take out the first character of that string and check that whether it is equal to that any of these characters else if they match then Sartha will get A points else and rather will get B points and after that you just have to check that whether uh, like what is the total score after that. So uh, as you can see I can show you like uh, uh, also as you can see the like I just got a wrong answer in this because actually uh, what it actually happened is because the constraints are 10 to power 9 so a and b which you are adding for the score is 10 to power 9 so if you add it continuously it can go out of bound uh, like the it can go overflow so you just take long long so that's what i've done iterate over uh, like this is a string iterate over for every string take out the first character and just check that the, whether the first character is equal to any of these characters so you can either write that whether the s of 0 is equal to e or s of 0 equal to q or s of 0 equal to q u and so on or else just do a for loop around this string and just check that whether the s of 0 is equal to any of these characters that's what i've done if it is equal then it is true so if it is true then the sarthic score increase by a or and rather score increase by b and then just output the if a is greater than b b is greater than a or draw okay. the third problem is uh, chef in heaven it actually states that uh, like you are actually given a string which is consisting of zeros and ones now what it actually told you is like it it actually defines the string actually defines out the number of years you can live okay like the number of years you can live so the, the string can be zero like this or like this now what it actually told you is if there is a one it means that in that particular year you have done good deed and if the if it is zero it means that you haven't done any good deed now like there is an astrologer or like there is some uh, the, like strange doctor what he can do here is you can like he can make you die at any point like he can delete out or like make you die at any point so the number of years you have spent is equal to this 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and how many good deeds you have done 1 2 3 so the number of good deeds you have done is 3 by 2 like uh, 1 by 2 which is like 50 percent so it he actually told you that if uh, like you will go to heaven if you have spent at least 50% of your life doing good deeds. So it means that you can like uh, end your life at any point and at any point if the number of deeds you have done is greater than 50% then you will go to heaven or else you will not go to heaven. So you have to tell that whether 
it is possible so to die at any point so that you will go to heaven perfectly now what you can easily do in this problem is uh, so uh, you know that if you take from left to right how many years you have spent what is the length till now so let's say the length till now is total and you will also take, keep a like keep a track of how many ones you have seen till now so the number of ones you have seen till now maybe is x if it becomes greater than or equal to 50% which is like 1 by 2 if this value becomes greater than 1 by 2 then the answer is yes so instead of like dividing out and checking out matching out in decimal places i always recommend to like multiply it here so it will become like 2 times x like 2 times x is greater than or equal to total which means that if the number of times you have done good deeds so you, you just iterate from left to right and keep track of how many times you have done good deed so let, let's assume that at this point the number of years you have spent is 3 1 2 3 and number of times good deed you have done is 1 so 1 oh well like 1 is the total number of good deeds so if 2 into 1 is greater than equal to total number of years you have spent 3 no so 2 is greater than, greater than equal to 3 no so the answer is like at this point even if you die it is not beneficial so now at this point now it has 4 years and 4 years and 2 times you have good like you have done good deed so 2 into 2 it is greater than or equal to total which is 4 yes so if you die at this point uh, sorry at this point as you can see if you die like if you die at this point now you have 4 years in which like the total amount of good deeds you have done is more than uh, like 50 percent or actually equal to 50 percent so then you will go to heaven so you just have to keep track of that and that's the whole solution for this problem i can show down the code part also now uh, it's also very simple I have told you you just have to keep track of how many times uh, like you have done the good deeds and how many total is that and then you just have to match up with two times x greater than or equal to total so uh, just iterate from this is a string this is total okay i just iterate from left to right keep track of the total number of years or total number of good deeds you have done if as you have seen total into two total into two like how many times good deed you have done is x so total into two is greater than or equal to total number of years spent so year spent is this i like i is the number of iterations because that's the number of years we have seen but this is real indexing so i plus one if at any point this total into two becomes greater than i plus one so the answer is yes and we just return out because that's the particular answer we just have to print out whether at any point it is possible or not as the answer is no if you do not find out any possible answer okay so the fourth problem is error rotation uh, it's a very i don't know why this problem is there like it's a very like you just have to observe like like there is no like i don't know what this problem is asking i don't know so we just go over this problem it's error rotation it actually states that what is error rotation you are given an array a as you can see and then if you rotate it like one time left like left turn then what will happen the left element will go from last to front so it will become like this one two three like a one a two a of n minus one and an so it is left shift one time and this is right shift which means that the first element go to the right now what this actually tell, uh, tell us is given an array a and an integer x okay you have defined out f of a of x which actually tell that you, are, you have rotated a array x times so f of a of x is actually rotating the a array like a array x times x times so if x is positive then means that you have right shifted like you have rotated this x time right shifted and if it is less than 0 you have rotated that much time in the left direction it's very simple to understand till now now they actually tell you that there are q queries and each query what you actually have to do here is to answer the query you should replace a with a plus f of a of x so now in each query you will give an x which means that okay i will tell you with the example so this is the initial query initial array which is given to you one and two okay this is the initial array now that there are two queries one like the in the first query is right shift the array by one so the new a will become what you can see here is the original a plus right shift this array by one position if you right shift it it become like this and then the whole array become like this and this is the uh, like the new resultant so you just have to output after each query what is the sum of the whole array which is formed which is this which is like six now this is the new a now what you will do you will right shift this array by one position it will become like this and you just have to find out the total answer now the basic thing what you can think over in this problem is like a will so as you can see the if you find out the sum of the numbers okay even if you right shift it left shift it how many times the sum will not change so whatever is the query whatever you done the like whatever queries you have done if you right shift it or left shift it how many times 
the sum will remain the same so if you add this number into how many times you have left shifted the sum is actually twice of that so if you find out the original sum which is 3 it is actually twice of that whatever number of times you have done the query the second query solution is twice of that and now this is the array so the the new array or the total the new total is twice of the original number now you have done the same thing how many times you have done the rotation the new array is like just a twice so you just have to multiply that number into like this twice number is again added twice so it's like four times the original sum and then four times at 16 like eight times 60 times and so on so for all the things you just have to do the same thing and then because the sum can get very large you just have to do a modulus thing so that's what i've told you in initial or problem like previous problems how you can find out the modulus so just if you have to add two numbers then like a modulus sorry so if you have to find out a plus b mod m so it's like a mod m plus b mod m whole mod m and that's the whole logic for this problem i'll show you the code part it's very trivial you just have to see that the like the array after each rotation doesn't change okay the sum doesn't change out you just have to uh, understand that the sum doesn't change out so it, it every query it just get doubles so uh, in the initial state you just have to take care of that it should be long long so just find out the sum of the whole initial array for every query what you'll do you have the total answer but what like this is that initialize your first value with total because the initial answer is total and then for each query you, you just double it out okay so just take the input of the query we don't require that query and then the answer will become double itself so how we can double itself we just add answer with it, itself so answer is added with itself so it will double itself or you can multiply that answer with two you can also do that so answer is equal to multiplication of two into answer okay so you just have to write down this functions mod functions which i have already told in the previous videos how you can write down these functions so this is the mod function and if you want to do multiplication so multiplication of like a mod like a into b mod m is equal to mod of a into mod of b whole mod and like the add is also same mod of a plus mod of b whole mod so that's what i've done so if you want to add like a and a like the a and a you have to add so that you have to do the modulus you just have to call this function out and then just save the same answer here because now in the next case you have to double this answer and then the next case you have to double this answer instead what you can also do you can multiply this answer by two at every case and that's the whole like that can also be passed i hope you understand the logic for this problem also let's move on to the third and the last problem or actually the fifth problem sorry this problem is also very simple okay don't require much of thinking but uh, there is one test case which i thought that there might be something but in the test cases which you have given you will get very simple that if there might be one like one questions or like one constraint it like if that question is there then it will become very difficult but because they have clearly written down in the test cases then it will become very easy so i'll tell you in simple terms the question name is bench press it actually tell you that in a gym uh, chef prefers to lift at least w grams which means that you have to lift at least w grams in that gym and now to lift w grams there is a rod and there is some weights so i hope you have seen that in in a gym like there is a if you do bench press or anything so uh, there is a rod and then there is some sidebars like uh, so as you can see there is a rod and then there is a these are weights so you can put these weights here so the rod also have the weight and the weights also have the weights so what you actually given here is the rod is having wr gram of the weight and there are n other weights lying around on the floor these are the different weights which are given to you in gram only everything is in gram so you have to also ensure that if you put some weights on the left and the right side they should balance out so that they will not produce any torque so if you put 5 5 kg here and like 3 kg here it will fall off so you have to also ensure that if you put 5 kg here the other will be also 5 kg so now it actually told you that as you can see like this is the rod like this is this is a possible rod that you have put one one two two three three one one it is balanced on both the sides but this is not actually uh, correct because in this you have put two ones two ones and there is two twos but there is like this is not balanced out as you can see even though like the total sum is correct as you can see like this is four five six and like uh, four five six this is three four five six even though as you can see the total weight is same but the configuration is wrong so configuration should also be right so that's the main trick you want to see that like you, you don't you cannot say that okay i put uh, if i want to put 6 6 on the both sides i can put like 2 4 and 3 3 that's not wrong you have to put both the weights same type on both of the sides and then it becomes easy so as you can see if you have to put both the weights of the same type 
you just have to tell that whether it is possible to require or satisfy the chef so what you can uh, think in this problem is you just uh, first keep a count of how many types of each weight are there each weight means that let's assume that there are uh, five weights like the array might be five five six 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 okay seven eight eight nine this is the array so keep track that okay i have five like i have five kilo like five gram weights i have two five gram weights i have three six gram weights okay then i have uh, one seven gram weight okay then i have uh, two eight gram weights and i have one nine gram weight now because you have to maintain the configuration you, what you can do here is just put the maximum weights out there like so like the weight of the rod is also there which is wr and then iterate over all the possible weights you have and then what you'll do if it is a like if they are a multiple of two okay so if they are greater than two what you will do you will put those weights on both the sides so as you can see like there are two fives so i will put one five here one five here there's there are three six here so i will put one six here one six here one six will remain out i will i will not care there's only one seven so i cannot put there there are two eight so one put one eight here one eight here there is only one nine so just remove out so how much is the total weight now if let's assume that there are uh, 10 grams of seven like seven ten grams so what you'll do because like find out the close x multiple of two which is six so put three here and three here because you have to maintain the balance out and also you have to maintain out what is actually like the stabilization and like it should be symmetrical so if you put three here or like three here so it should matter it means it means that it should be a multiple of two you just find out the closest multiple of two and then you just put out there so how much total increment is there as you can see if there are 10 gram each there are three 10 grams here and three 10 gram here that what you have increment so total increment the total like the total final weight is you just add up all of them and if it becomes greater than the e greater than equal to how much w grams chef requires then the answer is yes else the answer is no so that's the whole logic for this problem i can also show you the code part uh, <clears throat> so that's what i've done in this problem also okay let's open it out so as you can see i just iterate over uh, all the possible weights and then just push them in the map to store out the frequency okay so if the like the rod weight is greater than or equal to w which means that my rod weight weight is already greater than the required of weight of uh, so as you can see in the problem statement also states that you don't actually need to put weights if the rod weight is sufficient to meet the chef condition the chef wants w grams okay and then the rod weight is obviously greater than w gram so it means that if it is already greater than you don't have to put the weights so the answer is already yes else like you do not actually require this condition it is it is already satisfied here also but what you can also do here is the total initial total weight is wr which is the weight of the rod then you will iterate over all the possible frequencies over the map find out the closest value which is like you can divide out the by two so it so let's assume that i have seven uh, seven weights okay divided by two it means that three pairs are there so three pairs are there so how much total increment is there this is i dot first is the total value okay and then what what you can see here is i dot first is the total value how much time it is incremented this added into two added like how much so as you can see if uh, i have seven if i have seven uh, weights of type 10 so how many pairs i can make divide by two three pairs i can make if i can make three pairs how much increment is there there are three pairs so in each pair how many like total weights are there because there are three pairs how many weights are there six <coughs> so three pairs means like six 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 weights are there and for each weight the the weight is 10 grams the total increment is this so that's what i've done added into two uh, into how much is the weight for each thing and then you just keep on incrementing this in total and just keep it long long and in the end we just have to check that whether this total becomes greater than or equal to w if it becomes then the answer is yes else the answer is no I hope you understand the logic for all the five problems. If you still have any doubts, you can mention on. I will post down the last problem also, so stay tuned. I'll see you next one till then. Keep coding and bye.